Greetings, my friends, and thank you for rejoining me here in Equestria War, where we are playing as that great Bacaudan Republic. So, last time we did a couple focuses, we got another puppet or two, I can't exactly remember, it's probably the Casa Free State, but we must do our next focus because we just finished up the River Union, as well as, or we just got to a United River Government. Now, someone else, I think, or I believe, is doing the River Army, so... Let's not copy them, shall we? Shall we not? Yeah, they're doing the River Army, so let me just, let's wait a little bit. And I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go down, reform the system, or scrap the system. In which I will let you know as soon as we hopefully get there. So right now, we got to choose this one. Create the NOS, which is, what is it? Something you use for your cars. And then Doctrinal Standardization, which I'm going to choose instead because we still need to finish our land doctrine. Now that our officers are all on the same page, we can begin to reinforce the principles of our doctrines as we train new recruits. With a common frame of reference, our army can march forward, ready to face any enemy as a cohesive force. So after this focus, we'll hopefully get down to scrapping or reforming the system, and then rush to finish and do the River Federation. I think that would be great to do, at, hopefully. I think we should be able to do that, right? Let's take a look at this. So, remember, no other nation has done more to found the River Federation than this nation has. Ah, so the River Army. The River Republic wants to set another step towards centralization. The, the armies of the Union members will be put under a centralized command structure. We have always been coordinating our armed forces together with our friends, but this would formalize a hierarchy in which the armies under Riverlander control. The savings of centralizing the army will be enormous, and there will be a lot we can learn from our friends. Still, on the other hand, the proposal has been been met with much out, out, outrage amongst some of our officers and a significant part of the population. An army is one thing that defines a state. If we lose control of our army, could we still be called a nation? More army XP gain, maximum command power, and daily command power multiplier. Great! I love it! So, let's just double check to make sure no one else can do forming a federation. Because that is what we're going to do next. Good. It's looking good so far. Because that is absolutely the next thing we're going to do after we do doctrinal standardization. Do that one. Pacify the north. Sounds pretty good. Chieftain of Fawbrook we can maybe take out eventually. Uh, found rivet, rivatum, and pacify the south, which has no effects. Cool. And then we'll see from there. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a new focus stream. Maybe we won't at the time of this recording. I have no idea, but we still have a ton of political power. Also, I did edit my armoring divisions because that's why we have so much less army XP to become forty combat with, just like our infantry. So in this campaign, I'm thinking we're not going to go logistic companies, but let's try signal companies out. Those seem like a lot of fun. Also, another comment from yesterday suggested that I use or do excavation or resource extraction or resource efficiency gain or resource gain efficiency just because I keep complaining about resources. We're always out of resources. We always, always, always are. I'm still building up some areas down south, which is fine because we're already maxed out here, which is not ideal, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. Um, actually, I could probably build some more stuff there, but that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Go ahead and just keep doing more stuff. Government separate schools? Sure, why not? And we're doing that good. Even more resource efficiency gain? Why not? We get a bonus to it, 120% bonus because we are in the coalition. We share research. So hopefully we get more steel because we need a lot of steel for, well, ships. And we're currently out. Ooh, more resource efficiency. Good. It's 1014. Almost 1015. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. It's only 0 .06 uh, years ahead. So we could always use more and more, more research. And we're about to get better radar, which is an amazing thing. Uh, that's not bad. We might even want to get better cruisers than that, though. Yeah, we might want to. What do we have here? Oh, basic armored cars. That is actually really good. Radar, very nice. It's almost, like I said, almost 1015. We could grab that. We could probably actually work a little bit more on artillery as well. That was another comment from like two episodes ago. Focus on artillery because we were using really, really outdated artillery. But it is time, my friends, to move on to the, to the River Federation. 140-day focus. After years of gradual integration, the River Union now finds itself ready to take the last steps towards federalization. By revoking the rights of secession and officially declaring the River government sovereign over the Riverlands, the member states of the coalition will cease to exist as separate entities on the world stage. A dream for many, the River Federation will rise in their place as in their place as a global superpower. All nations who are full mem River mem Union members will join the Federation under your command. We know as the River Federation. Uh, will be known as East Grafonia Treaty Organization, and Bakara forms the R Federation, which means we... something. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. We might go to war with someone, we might not. We might... some people might not like that. We might have some rebellions here who don't like that and might actually fight us to keep their freedom. I really couldn't tell you, but some places, they're okay with it. Some places, they're not. REC member, very cool. Government staff for schools, better biplanes, Operation Cherry Party. Hmm. My, my cherry pie. What is that? Not down there. Oh. Unlock stage coups and the Southern Griffins. 
Magic Star. Oh, cool. Also, there's another comment yesterday for me to do more pony text, because the first one still gives us monthly population, which I should have taken a long time ago. Yes, I should have. Uh, don't, like, don't forget your racial text, rush to form the Federation. Uh, we'll talk about that army focus later on, because I still need to address it. The Gryphonian Empire cannot seem to get, catch a break whatsoever. Ooh, that is not good, I think. Wing body, uh, Aquatine. Oh, another division. We actually have a pretty good army. 40 combat with divisions. Not bad. Really not bad. Let's see, resource extraction. Someone recommended that I play as the Solar Empire. I might. It might not do that next Equestria War. We might. We might not. Eventually, I promise I'll get to the Solar Empire. I have played as Equestria once so far. Solar Empire seems like a lot of fun, but there's also recommendations for me to play as the Changelings as well. So, we'll see what happens, but happy 10 15, my friends. It's time to get another operative. Cool. Cloud Cult. Uh, counterintelligence. I, I like a lot of counterintelligence. I think that's really fitting for us. Become a spy master? Why not? Why not? 1015. Uh, we could grab more resource extraction, actually. 90% is pretty darn good. Yeah, even though it doesn't help us with too much else, it'll help us with steel at least a little bit. Signal companies will be very nice as well. We can throw on our divisions. Uh, let's see. Keep going down with artillery. 250% is pretty nice. Wow, we can get up to three more. Very good. And over here, we're going to do government staff for schools, because we can't really build too much anywhere. Oh, actually, we can build stuff up here now. Let's, see, let's keep doing that. That's, not, that's very nice. And then maybe some more military factories as well. We might actually... We're already on limited exports. We can't go close economy. But if we can integrate everyone else, we're going to have a lot of resources, a lot of factories, a lot of good things to use. And then maybe bully a couple people around. So far, the Dread League, though, has stayed pretty peaceful. Pretty darn peaceful. Besides sticking out the Arcturian Order, but uh, you never know about these guys. You really never know. And I kind of don't want to send my guys over there, or the ponies, just because I could get killed over there. I don't want to lose my ponies yet. That doesn't seem like fun. 13, 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, and sad face, sad face. Oh, so sad for them. And we're also building up infrastructure in one of our puppets, which we're probably going to build up later anyways, if we didn't do it now, but that's fine. Better artillery? How about 10, 13, 2? We're researching artillery that should have been developed two years ago. Yes, I am a little slow, but that's okay. Look at this population, or not population, but research speed. So good. Oh, delicious. Centralized fire control. More soft attack is always nice. Only 5% isn't very much, but you know what? I'll take it. Another operative. Lucky Twirl. Yes, please. And centralized fire control. Very good. Forward observers. Your recon gets more recon. Who would not love that? Let's get some signal companies in here so we get more initiative. The higher the initiative a unit has, the quicker it can reinforce into a battle, and the quicker it can get its planning done. Which is okay, not bad. Result looking militia. Thank you for playing. Hopefully we can federalize very nicely and quickly. Let them all do that. Good, good, good. And engineer entrenchment's not bad. I completely ignored all this stuff too. Mage companies. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. We'll see. 1015. Even better radar would be nice. How about plane? Yep, let's get some planes. We are using fighters. Actually, we are. I deployed some more fighters. And they did get to this position already. You guys do that. Because you guys are going to come over here. Very good. Government cipher schools. Awesome. More passive defense, please. Thank you. Thank you. How close are we? We are more than halfway done to forming the River Federation. Oh, one of our goals. And then, after that, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. Because, I mean, we're looking pretty thick. The River Coalition is pretty large, actually. We might have to kill the Carthinian Pact, though. Which wouldn't be bad. I kind of I kind of want to, actually. Yeah. Oh, we all have the River Army, which is nice. River Union Member State... Less consumer goods factories. That looks really awesome, actually. And also threw on Crimson Meadow, which gives us more artillery attack and defense, which is very nice. We're on war economy, even though we're not at war. But we lose political power because of that. No. Oh. Service, service by requirement, which is crazy. Develop science base. We have a modern society. Your country only has one race. It's, what do they call it? Homogeneous? Yeah. Ooh, ships. Um, you know, go ahead and train. we got plenty of fuel. I don't know why we stopped training. Oh, because we might have gone to war. That's okay. We have one battleship still. Do we have any modern... We have no modern light cruisers just yet. Oh, that's so sad. That is so sad. Oh, I could, I could grab more steel, but I'm going to wait till the Federation forms. I think that's a good thing to do. I kind of hope we don't get a new focus tree so I can finish off more of the military stuff here. I would like to do that before I do anything else. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to finish a lot of this first before we do anything else. And let's grab passive defense. Good. Even more passive defense. Get a new recruit. Starry Dew? I like Rapid Dew. Then maybe Starry Dew. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know what? Are we doing Cryptology? Oh, Chief of Farbrook. Ah, that's probably actually a good idea. Alright, so you... Let's see what the Dread League is up to. And you were good until Operative Boost Ideology. 
You were good at counterintelligence. Intel operative strength, counterintelligence. Eh, whatever. Let's throw him over there for now. Anti artillery, or advanced artillery. Good. Even, get even the best artillery, because artillery is king, in my opinion. Excavation 3. How about excavation 2? Steel wise, we're looking better. Not great, but better. And this will actually lower the amount of tungsten we need, as well as steel, which is nice. Just upgrade whatever we have for now. That helps our steel as well. To really help out our heavy ship. Nice. Very good. Very good. New Scandinavia burns. The Northern Star has fallen. This is a giant mess. I really wish Farbuck went to war. I really wish they did. I want to go to war so badly. They're improving relations, though. Huh. Oh, boy. Peace conference. The Griffonian Empire has capitulated. Oh, Numbuzia is doing that, huh? On certain times. And, okay, we have a new Griffonian Empire. Kingdom of Fethizia became them as well. Vedina still exists. Hold on. Who's it? Whose flag is that? That looks really cool. Kingdom of Vina has come to them as a core state. Kingdom. Huh. And the... I'll say they joined the Federation. Has joined the Federation. The country will be integrated into the Federation, ensuring a peaceful and stable future. Great. Core is it. Deponi joins the Federation as well. Magic... Race magic research times. Ooh. Deponian farmers. Vitaland joins the Federation. Magic research time. Research speed. Nimbusia leaves the Union. They've announced that they're activating the secession protocol made into our original Treaty of Coldstream. They'll be negotiating their way out of the Union, reverting back to normal relations. So surely be, they will surely be missed, but it appears that we have no choice to let, but to let our friends go for now. Wherever Republic joins, good. Look at that manpower. State of Lake City leaves the Union as well, as well as Diamond Mountain. And Watertowns doesn't want full membership. Watertowns has decided not that they do not want to be part and take part in the Federation. However, they will be happy with staying in the Union on the terms we decide on equally, as long as they can keep their independence. This is a setback, but our institutions will be still able to control a lot of their decisions, and we will still be able to protect them, and we will effectively be able to direct them on the national stage. Oh my goodness. So, new focus tree? No, we don't. Now, we can do stuff over here, which I am going to make sure that we pacify people here. But I'm going to go ahead and decide which one we're going to do. So, <clears throat> I asked you guys whether we want to do reform the system or scrap the system. And overall, the majority of the support went to scrapping the system. Now, this one gives you more manpower, but people chose this one. So, scrap the system. It's time for we face the reality that the Bakaran militia system is broken beyond repair. Companies across the nation are rife with insubordination and distraction by petty regional rivalries. The fact that these militias would be ineffective to any prolonged military campaign, they are simply too unreliable. Our only path forward is the creation of a single professional national army. Which we've been trying to do. And we just got so many divisions. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Those are magical infantry, actually. You guys come over here. Uh, what are you guys at? I don't care. I don't care what you're like. You have anti-tank? Cool. I'm going to put you under new general. Hopefully, the river federation actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, iron side? Cool. Yeah, I don't like that. I like this. This looks actually really good. I wish we could have integrated these guys. Can I take these guys out? I would love to take them out. Um, we're looking pretty good. Let's see. We lost quite a few guys here, actually. We still have our puppets, which is nice. Wait, Prywin, weren't you under us? They they left, I think. Oh, that's not cool. That's so not cool. Going to do that. We're going to need a lot more guns where we're going. We're going to need a lot more resources. Uh, get more artillery, get more planes, get more... Mo uh, motorized can kind of wait. Uh, let's see, get some of that. That'll be good. Do that. Do that as well. Mm, we can actually afford more stuff, which is kind of nice. We could get light tanks, but we're going to wait. Build a lot of that stuff. Build a lot of that. Build a lot of that. That'll be good. Get... About 5,000 more guns. We're going to need more ships. Alright, anything else here? Magical weapons 2. Uh, I don't really care about anti-air, anti-tank for now. We can make a lot of that when we get there. That'd be fine with me. Basic armored cars, improved armored cars. Let's see. Anything else here, ship-wise? Not really. Go up to 10. We probably need that, honestly. So, this is going to take a while for us to figure out tank templates, huh? Oh, God. Oh, man. So many different temp division types. 20 combo width isn't bad. You guys come over here as well. I'm just going to convert you automatically to these guys. That'd be fine. Put you under this group. That'd be good. Now, hopefully, some things start happening. Some things should start really happening. Verbal Coalition Leader Surrender Blocker has been removed because of that. Fine, so be it. More resource efficiency gain. Refuel or firm refineries. Eh, let's grab some of that. Now we should have... Oh, look at that. That's really nice. We finally have enough resources of our own. That is so nice. Get five, come over there, actually, and then remove one, and go right there. There we go. I'm going to pull you out, because we got so many divisions to deal with right now. Uh, Mountaineers, um, there you go. 
No, I just want one. There you go. Eight divisions, just mountaineers, your normal infantry and stuff like that. We might use those guys, maybe, maybe not. 21. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Magical infantry, are they really... I don't think I'm going to use them in this campaign. Maybe another one, but right now, I think the ones we have currently are kind of okay. I'm just going to go ahead and convert you to... I can't convert them to Marines. That sucks. Republican Militia. Come over there. Oh, nice. Very good. And then we have these guys. Not bad. 27, come over there. Uh, that might have been a few too many. There you go. That's a little better. One, two, three. Perfect. And now, let's see. Tanks. Uh, you guys, I'm going to convert you guys immediately to this. Good. And then we have, what the heck is that? Tame dragons? We have dragons? Okay. I, I, don't, I didn't know about that. That's kind of cool, not going to lie. Is that back group? Good. And then these guys. Over there. It's 12 left. Cool. Another field marshal, perhaps? Raven Crydo, huh? Uh, general max size is not bad. I'm gonna arcane, because why not? Bakada forms a rubber federation. You bet your booty we do. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna. Oh, crudderinos. Oh, we got so many divisions. I don't even wanna see what they are. I don't even wanna see them. I don't wanna get confused. Let's let time go on, though. Like, I'm not even interested. We got too many templates for me to really care about them that much, to be honest with you. And, oh my gosh. When you let the AI develop so many templates, it's so not bueno. Have we seen the end yet? Oh, no, 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 no. All, all I was making was a single division at a time. That's all I wanted. I was just a simple guy. Just one division. Sorry for all the clicking as well, but it is what it is. Uh, actually, that armored car template, I'm going to keep that one. Garrisons, good. I'll put you on medium. Update. Do we have military police? No. Huh. Alright, well, I need to fix that. Occupy territories. Ah, oh, yeah, we have that group too. That's fine. Garrisons. Good. Let's make sure we actually put some. Oh, we're already making some. That's good. Passive defense. Only 202 factories. Oh, we become a spy master again? Sure, why not? What do we have over here? Band. Ooh, oil fields? Yes, please. Anything else over here that we need to know about? No. We could use more manpower. We could still use more manpower. That's kind of crazy to think about. We could still use more manpower. And we only have three? Oh, we only have three spies. That sucks. That really does suck. Uh, let's see. 12. 16. 12. So, you, the 16 won. Not bad. I like that one out of all these. These guys are all 12. These guys are all... Oh, 20! That's actually probably the best one. Oh, 20's pretty good as well. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I like these guys the most, though. And what group is this? Oh, God, I can't tell. Let's see. Template 10. Tame Dragon. That's really awesome. 11. You know what? If we take that off and replace it with, like, signal companies, I'd be totally cool with that. Tank template 11. So, all you guys, we'll switch to tank template 11. Nice. Get rid of this stuff. Get rid of that. Cutting down on things we don't need. Pegasus High Guard. We already have enough of, the, the, enough of those types of divisions already. Good. And make sure we have a general for everyone. Doesn't really matter who they're led by, but, you know, that's okay. We have a big old army now. I love it. Could be bigger if people actually wanted to join us, but whatever. Only gonna hold it against them, that's all. So we got Pegasi. I don't even know what's the best one. Let's see, you guys are 20 combat with, that's not bad. So template 5 is not bad. Template. What is this? 4 is better. Template 4. I think I'm gonna go with template 4. Let's go with template 4. Oh, we can't convert these. Ah, okay. You can't be dealt with. That sucks. You guys can be, though. Cool. And let's get rid of some more of these. 
Cool. That saved us some time. Oh, we got so many different types of divisions here. Let's see, 18, 18. You guys convert to Republican Militia. You guys are 20 combat width, which is not good enough. Republican Militia. You guys are 20 combat width, so Republican Militia. And we've got two different types of Mountaineers here. we got some 16 combat width. And then we have you guys. We're going to really have to fix this up. Oh my goodness. Template 3 is 16. Template 4 is probably 16 as well, huh? Yeah, they're exactly the same. Template 6, though. Template 6, I guess, for now. Template 6. That's fine. Good enough with me. Get rid of that so we have less to deal with. Alright, right there. Oh, you guys are what? We're going to put a template 6. Everyone's going to become that template, which we can edit up later. You guys are 20 combat width, which is not acceptable. We're going to have a massive deficit of everything. Holy cow. You guys are already 40 combat width. You guys become template 6. I'm going to keep those tame dragon. That's awesome. Cool. So, let's divide everything up. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So, you guys come over to here. I want to take out these areas that didn't want to join us. So, we'll see, definitely see what happens. Uh, we're going to need two armies for this group over here, which is fine. Good luck with that. You guys... Was it this group that kind of left us, maybe? Maybe not? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was. Griffiths, three times of Griffiths. It's fine. Diamond Mountain... I wish we never supported you. Uh, they're still under us. You can put an army right there as well. And you wait. Well, you can kind of stay right there. It's fine. Make sure that we're set to be extremely aggressive. Speed time up just a little bit more now. Let us train. And I know we're going to need like at least 20,000 more guns. If not like 50,000. And artillery and all that good stuff. Woo! Marines looking pretty good. Any upgrades here? Fortress Buster? Sure, why not? And then for the tanks, I might actually cut these down into half. Oh, what is that? Leader experience gain. Oh, I like that. I like that too. What else do we have? That's pretty much it. Oh, what is that? Question mark. Oh, more attackless organization. Lely. Lely? I don't know. Um, nice. Let's do that one. Next up, just in case, Nimbusia. Oh, do we have some... not enough equipment, huh? Oh, actually, we've got plenty of enough guns. What are we missing? Manpower? Oh, armored cars. Oh, we've minus... Oh, that's not, that's not going to be a problem. That's definitely not going to be a problem. Can I just find you? Why can't we get cores on you, man? Alright, cool. What are we missing? Anti-tank and... Dra oh, draconic equipment. Well, I'm not sure if we have any of that. Do we have any dra draconic equipment? Uh, magical weapons, I guess we could... Eh, we're already making magical weapons, too. Toad, anti-tank, I guess we could throw it on there, too, if we really want to. Assault rifles. Magical weapons, too. Primitive weapons. Pre-gunpowder equipment. Whoa. Uh, anything else here? No, that's pretty much it. In terms of tanks... Uh, we already have all the tanks out there. Do we have any dragons here? I don't see any. Hmm. Well, you might use them until they die, then. Toad, anti-tank, two. That's better. Cool, passive defense is always nice. Get some more of that, maybe. Oh, and we're out of manpower immediately. Oh, I should have saw that one coming. Loads of factories. And then eventually, loads and loads and loads of infrastructure. Build it all up. Hopefully we get into some sort of major war. I'd really like that. Sometime, somewhere. Uh, but one thing we haven't checked yet, two things we haven't checked. Planes and Navy. Please tell me I got their Navy. Please tell me I did. I did not. Oh my gosh. We're going to need more manpower. Uh, maybe I should have gone the other way. So, is there really no way for me to get, like, more, like, get those other nations into our, our alliance by force? I mean, we are harmonic. Well, that kind of sucks. But is anyone going to go to war with us, maybe? That'd be kind of cool if they did. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'd love to take these guys out, though. To be honest with you. And let these guys all train. So we got enough of those guys. Rubber processing. 
even more rubber processing. Maybe we can put in one of these things. It'd be really nice to get some refineries. We got tons of civilian factories. Scrap the system, my friends. Go ahead and scrap it. And which we will do pacify the south and pacify the north. Let's do the north. Some of the northern ponies have strayed from the path of harmony. We must intervene to protect the citizens of the north against our own governments. The River Federation will not tolerate any threats near its borders. We will bring harmony and democracy to the Riverlands by any means necessary. Oh, that's really disappointing. I might have made. No, we're actually mobilizing. Okay. Cool. Oh, because of the NB. Nice. Very good. Fighter. Oh my goodness, I can't see what's going on up here. Fighter. Well, I can still get it that way, so that's not bad. Not great. Not ideal, but whatever. Uh, but you right there. Actually, we might have too big of an army. I'm gonna have to probably scrap these guys. Maybe. Uh, let's see. You know what? Go ahead and scrap these guys. Just because I need a little bit of that manpower back. I'll throw you right there. There you go. That's a little better. And we're missing what? Trick? Yeah, well, yeah, we can't do that. Passive defense. Nice. Anti-partisan. Good stuff. Good stuff. What are you guys doing? You're over here. Keep an eye on what they're doing up there. Because you never know. You never really know. Good. And what do we need? 10-15 Riverlands. Hoof. Ball cup. Oh, we are the champions. Great. Great, of course we'd be the champions. Why wouldn't we be? King Moving Ball, you don't really want to help them. Nova Grafonia, TM? Uh, sure, why not? Help us with our production of stuff. Mm -hmm. And after that, maybe some more heavy ships. Maybe a couple more cruisers, perhaps. Those are always good to make. Because we don't need more convoys. Better encryption? Nice. Too bad when you get upgraded, you can't make any... Uh, get another research slot. That would be kind of over overpowered, but, you know, that'd be kind of fun. Even more recon. Let's get some military police. We could use that. Forward observers. Good. Recon gets more recon. Love it. Are we still mobilizing? Man, we're going to need so much more manpower. Pony power. I might cut down what we're doing. Don't even make any more divisions for now. Garrisons. We still might need that. Nice. And we finish this in a few days. Good. Advanced artillery upgrade. We can't get the next one, which is fine. So we're researching more tanks. That would be good. Group anti-tank, go ahead and help that out if we can. We got plenty of magical equipment. A lot of equipment overall. We do need more planes, though. Maybe just a few more motorized. Maybe, maybe not. We definitely need a lot more artillery, though. Holy cow. Hmm. Go up to 50. It seems like we're going to need that much at the very least. Put you right at the very top. Put you at 5 for now. That's fine. That will be good. Tons of stuff going for there. Need less rubber for now. That's good. Need way less of that as well. Pacify the north. Uh, pacify the south. Dear zebra mages. Strange states that should not rule the lands to the south of the River Federation. We must bring the lands under our protection so that the River Federation is safe from threats within or without. Good. Garrison divisions. We'll address that a little later. We're still mobilizing. Please tell me we are. Yes, we are. And that is a good thing. Anti-partisan is done. Portable radios. Why not? Oh, we're still building up even more infrastructure. Nice. Even better rubber. How about even better rubber? We don't even need anyone else's rubber now. Ah, uh, we are self-sufficient. I love it. So who can we go to war with? Chieftain of Fabrook. Oh, boy. We don't actually share that big of a border with them, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. I wonder. These tanks. We have no manpower. I might be able to raise up our conscription level if we could do go to war. Uh, 20 combat width isn't bad. Mage companies. That would hurt our armor, but just barely. It actually gives you quite a bit. Even more breakthrough. I kind of like that. Let's throw them on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have garrisons over here, too. Four. Oh, these are other t the other type of garrisons. Actually, no. We could probably just use one type of garrison for, uh, for, for the entire campaign, actually. Probably. As long as they don't get pierced. We have, we have no... Hmm. Still none of that. Hmm. Interesting. You guys are training. You guys are training. Oh, when, eh, you might as well go for that. Why not? We could stack a bunch of divisions over here. I want to see if I could just use you guys, though. What if we did that? I want to see what they are capable of by themselves. Especially if we throw on a few planes for them. Maybe? Maybe not individually? Yes, no, maybe so. Uh, and then 
Actually, half you guys come over here. Do we have any tactical bombers? Fighter ones. No, we do have some bombers. Nice. Oh, but we have no manpower. That's right. Oh, actually, we do have a little bit. But not enough. Give it to the Marines, I guess, for now. Even though I'd like to give them to the tanks. And we've maxed out our political power. Hmm. Go ahead and build up a few air bases there. We got plenty of space. So do that and begin a nuclear program. Well, hopefully we can add more people to our uh, alliance here. But this island's starting to get a little small between the Carthinian Pact, the Griffonian Empire, the Crown of Achillea, Kingdom of Achillea. It's getting kind of small down here. Are you guys all down here? Yes, you are. Go ahead when you can. You should do pretty darn well against these guys. Uh, they can. They really want to go to war with us. Him and Garing, I'm sorry, him and, but your time is up. Can I get, raise my kids? I can. That's so bad. 20% all adults serve. That's so bad that we have to go all the way up there. Let's see what we can do. Any damage? Pretty good damage so far. Add them. I don't know. Can we add them as a puppet or can we just. Well, maybe we try to annex them. We can try that. I don't know how that's going to result or what's going to happen, but that's okay. Uh, get some better ships. Very good. No, good so far. Oh, even more artillery. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, boy. Um. I can't get to the highest one. Yeah, that's a little not cool, but whatever. If you get there, you can cut them off completely, which would be nice. Good. You cut them completely off. Can they pierce you, actually? Oh, they kind of can, actually, yeah. Well, we'll see about this problem later on. You should just be able to, like, right-click it and then upgrade it. Oh, uh, why can't I see that? There's... Yeah, there's nothing I, I can do about this. That really sucks. I'll probably do it off-screen then. It's fine, whatever. I can use more artillery, though. There you go. Nice, so far. Very nice, so far. Losses? 3,000 versus 100. That's a lot of losses. Oh, you guys are fighting up there, too. That's good. I'm glad you, we could distract them up north. Oh, we have a little bit more manpower. Very good, very good. Pacify the south, and then found the Rivatum. We've learned of the wonderful abilities that, that magical crystals hold. <clears throat> Untold power in the very bonds between magic and substance. We will fund a federal research organization to study these crystals and make the findings available to the federal government, and especially the military. So we did the other one, and that didn't really make us do anything, which really kind of sucks. That might be the end of the campaign, maybe? You know what, maybe we'll have the next episode as the end of the campaign. I don't know, there's not really much we can do. I was hoping we'd get more to do here, but... <clears throat> there's really not much to do in the rest of this campaign, it seems like. I could be wrong about that, of course. But it doesn't seem like there's that much that we can really do, which kind of sucks. Hopefully I am wrong. I hope I am wrong. If we have more military police, that'd be good. Good hospitals, that'd be good as well, since we're always out of manpower for some reason. Garrisons, go ahead and put them down if you can. There you go. There you go. And is it anything other than Tactical Bomber 2s? Not really. Good. Light Tank 1s? Good. Better Light Tanks, then. Oh. Am I not making Light Tanks at all? I thought I was. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what the heck game? Seriously? Okay, no, there it is. Huh. Hmm, well, okay then. Interesting, say the least. Oh, we could have used our navy against these guys, but whatever. Ah, do we get a capital ship? Yes, we did. Great. Stop doing that. Repair, everyone. Repair. Let's see what type of damage we can do up here. Please don't get encircled, though. Please, 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 please. Cancel it. Did we get enough artillery? No, we have not. Blueprint stealing, very cool. How long is this next focus going to take? Oh, we're almost halfway there. That's good. Agent captured. Well, that definitely ain't good. Go, 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 go. Now let's try to rescue our agent. Um, 
Where were you captured by the dra Can I not rescue you? Uh, until we build an intelligent... 103 days? Oh, we might not be able to rescue that pony. Oh boy. That is not good. They canceled the Lenglies, which is fine, but... Commander training interrogation diplomatic... Got, hmm. Oh man, that's not good. And we got advanced fire bases, which is nice. And then shock and all would be look very, very nice, but still, huh. I'm a little concerned about that. King of Wing Body is dead. 1015 ship, nice. Good. Spider 3 still. Oh, there's Attack Bomber 3 cool. And they're gone. Uh, uh, we can always release them later, right? There's that idea. We can always release them later, right? We don't get them as core states, which kind of sucks. Special magical weapons. Or require magical infantry going instead of taking. Huh. Well, we could do that, maybe. But I guess, you know, I guess we'll end our episode there. The next one. The next episode in this campaign might be the final one, because we've got Rivatum, but. Other than that, we got one, two, and then all these focuses have finished. So, if there's anything else I could do in this campaign, please let me know. I don't know if we can actually go to war with anyone, since these people didn't really justify them. And we're democracy, so regardless, I hope you enjoyed the camp, uh, the not the campaign, but the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably see the collapse of the Solar Empire. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day!